What do you want to be when you grow up? That was the question we were asked as kids, and we gave the answer to that question without limitations. My six-year-old says he wants to be an astronaut, a firefighter, police officer, Spider-Man, and Black Panther. I told him, hey man, you can't do all of those. He said, you have a bunch of jobs, why can't I? Touche, son, touche. He has zero limits. So why can't he be Spider-Man on Tuesday and Black Panther on Wednesday? But here's the deal. If I were to ask you now, as a grown-up, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? It would take a question like that to remove limitations because by the time we graduate college, we become increasingly aware of what we can and cannot do and student loans won't pay themselves off. What if, just for a moment, we could get back to the place of no limitations? What if we could dream again? What I know about our dreams is that the distance between our dreams and realities is often intimidating. We think our dreams require email marketing, money, social media ads, hard work, a good website, understanding markets, understanding technology, knowing the right people. And while some of that may be true, what I believe our dreams require the most is really bravery. What our dreams require most is the willingness to fail. Here's what I know about failure. Every successful person you and I admire, follow, and look up to has had a fair share of failure. You might as well get yours too. I wanna to encourage you to chase failure today because I believe chasing failure early and often will set you up to succeed later. I know you might be the first one in your family to try it. I know that taking a risk at work isn't encouraged. I know you might be scared, but that's okay. Uh, one of my favorite authors says it this way. If you can't beat fear, just do it scared. You don't have to beat it. Carry on, warriors. As a public speaker, I get to do about 120 events a year. Now I have the opportunity to reach thousands of people on a weekly basis. As an executive coach, I get to train about 12,000 leaders a year. I'm constantly creating content for courses and workshops and conferences and church services and corporate keynotes, new book projects, and now two podcasts. I wish I could tell you I never get nervous and I don't sweat it, but that's just not true. I just do it scared. You should try it sometime. When do I not get nervous is a better question. I'm always nervous. I always have a part of me that thinks this is going to go awful. I read in this book about a researcher who had people jump out of an airplane over and over to determine how their bodies responded to fear. She found that with each jump, while having a large amount of stress, it decreased noticeably. By the third jump, she equated the level of stress to be that on par with someone on their way to work that's running late and the stress that comes from that. I didn't just stumble upon success from just working hard or knowing the right people. I just kept jumping out of the airplane and people kept giving me microphones in front of large groups of people. And here's what I believe will happen when you keep jumping too. You'll realize that chasing failure take you further than chasing success.